You're in big trouble now! Racismus! Oh! Luckily, we have anti-racists in America that analyze and deconstruct things and realize how problematic it is to call the cops on criminals. I mean, what would the little kids think? You know, they play a video game and they might think like calling the cops on criminals is actually something that should be done. Instead, now Velma is going to call her friends in order to abduct and kidnap people. Which I assume is why the anti-racists want children in America to grow up thinking that is righteous and normal. That is social justice. You get your friends to do the actual justice rather than calling the cops. I'm fucking real. If you didn't get what I was saying up till now, it's obviously sarcastic. But uh, yeah, that's the problem. I mean, uh, in a video game, Velma gets to solve the mystery. And then she calls the cops on people. Now, I want to point out that there's multiple crimes that are happening in that video game. I mean, you have assault and battery, just to name one of them. Probably attempted murder, considering that some of the characters fires lasers and other powerful beams at the opponent. All of that is fine, by the way. Just don't call the cops. I mean, that is a step too far. I mean, Americans are paying taxpayer money for... Law services, right? I mean, they, they are doing that. Like, a part of their wealth is taken away by the government so that they can fund law and service agency. But don't call on them, because that's what a Karen would do. Also, do not confuse the police with the FBI, right? Because the FBI is sacred. It's holy. I understand if you criticize it, you are being divisive. Maybe that's how the game should have uh, fixed the problem. Instead of calling the cops, they should call the FBI. The leftists love the FBI, and the FBI is good. The cops are bad. Okay, I understand. Naruhodo intensifies. What this tells me, however, is who the actual audience is. Like, who these video gaming companies actually make games for. Uh, it's definitely not for people like you and me. I mean, if you are to complain about the price of a game, about the bugs of a game, about the story of a game, about the game woke-washing characters... They don't care. I mean, it's like they, they're hand-waving the concerns. But the moment a single account on Twitter, one account on Twitter complained about this, in e immediately the company went like, bah, 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 and changed the thing. So what I suggest is to find out companies who do not adhere to woke orthodoxy and just make trivial complaints now on Twitter. You know, it's like, oh, you know, this company uh, didn't hire an Asian actor to play the Asian role. You know, Shadow Warrior actually did that. Like, if you play Shadow Warrior 1 and 2, you will notice that the main character has a specific voice and personality. And when you play Shadow Warrior 3, it's like completely different voice actor. Personality is completely different. And you're wondering, like, what happened? And I'll tell you what happened. Like, they initially made Shadow Warrior 3 with the original voice actor. But then people on Twitter complain. Oh, cultural appropriate. These people don't even know what fucking culture is. But they use big words. They, they use big boy words for stuff that they don't understand. So, of course, the company immediately bended the knee, immediately changed the product. Right? Like, th this is what you need to do. Like, if it's so easy to get corporations to bend the knee, like, you, you too can have a big dick. You too can feel like you're somewhat important. Just, just like, do trivial complaints towards leftist companies and they see how, how fast they bend the knee. It's actually fun. It's, it's hilarious. I don't know what to say, but, like, Eventually, they will run out of money because all these changes cost cash and spend development time. So just forcing them to make these trivial changes, eventually they might say enough. We just want to make a game. Shut the fuck up. Which is what I actually want. I like With this particular change, I want to point out that even uh, people in the comment section of Kotaku are finding it bewildering. It's like this guy <clears throat> or girl or whatever, controversial. The guy who tweeted literally wrote not to take his tweet too seriously. Uh, I, I mean, you, you have people on Kotaku which are bewildered by this. Uh, they, they don't understand why the change happened. So, <laughs> what can I say? I mean, it's, it's just a start. Especially, like, this is such an American thing. Like, it's American culture to hate the cops. I mean, like, here in Europe, we don't hate the cops, right? Like, I understand leftist Americans have their hobbies and passions, but we don't share them, right? So, like, the games are supposed to be inclusive. They're supposed to include the rest of the world. Like, the rest of the world do not have the same problem with law enforcement like America. Why are you stuffing down your controversies down our throats, is what I want to know. 
But hey, let me know what you guys think, and I'll see you in the comment section. Take care.